Hello everyone, my name is Christian Nikulescu. You know me for a lot of automation with uh, UiPad. I did a lot of stuff with ChatGPT in the last part. And I see in the last days, I see some um, uh, nice video from GP about the Gen AI activities. And I remember that my colleagues um, uh, told me to make a lot of um, example with Gen AI activities to train the autopilot, to train the autopilot for developers. So my idea is to, so if you want to uh, to see a nice presentation of uh, JP did a very nice presentation of Gen AI activities and we'll have an, a third part, I want to present this from the point of view of the autopilot for developers to see how they use this um, Gen AI activities because this is how they develop. And I will, I will try to present this in different prompts. And for something that I, I'm not cover, I will I will uh, show you how to uh, to do some particular use cases with Gen AI activities. Activities. For Gen AI activities, so these are uh, uh, UiPath. So let's see here uh, if I go and uh, uh, the, we'll go in inside of um, uh, UiPath um, Studio Web. And if, if you write here Gen AI, you will see that uh, there are a lot of activities uh, uh, created that um, basically it's in uh, in in the back of ChatGPT and other. LM system and um, they offer uh, different stuff. Rewrite, uh, generate context, translate, categorize, name, and we'll see exactly what they are. Language detection, summarize text, uh, generate uh, email, uh, uh, PII filtering. Okay, and we'll use all this stuff, but we'll use it using the, uh, the autopilot function. So let's see what prompts that I prepare for, for this one. So I'll go to templates and I will, I will put here the first prompt. And the first prompt will be like this. Uh, I hit generate with autopilot. So detect the language from the input text and log the uh, dictating language uh, and translate the text to English. Yeah. So the idea is like this: you will create me an um, a workflow uh, where he will detect the language from my text, and then um, then he will do this translation to uh, to English. Yeah. So I will write something in Romanian. Uh, and um, I will uh, provide him here an argument. I will say uh, argument in text, in text, and I will put a, uh, I will think about uh, a default value. I will put here in text uh, as a variable, in text done. Uh, then he logged this uh, variable, the detecting language. He will detect my language that it will be Romanian, and then he will uh, translate this uh, uh, this language language to translate it it's, again uh, my variable uh, in text. Okay, and this will translate it to English, and he will um, display it on English. Uh, and uh, let's say what text I will put here. Yeah, wait a minute. So what I write here in Romania, it's, um, hello, I'm Christian. Can you help me to start my uh, vocal assistant on my PC? So uh, let's run it and let's see if he's able to recognize all this stuff. Yeah. So first he will uh, he will uh, tell me the language and then um, uh, with the language, he will translate this to the English. Let's see what uh, what he has. So the language detected it's uh, Romanian. Hello, I'm Christian. Can you help me with start with my... Uh, voice um, let's see it here can you help me start my voice as instance on my computer exactly what i write so this is the way how he converted text from um, romanian to english and he identified that we have the romanian language good so this was the first example let's go to the next example so these are the, the first two stuff from there. Detect language and translate uh, uh, translate to another language. You see here it's um, translated and uh, language detection. Okay, good. Let's see other example with uh, Gen AI activities. And the other example with the next one, which will be this one. So let's say uh, rephrase the text provided. I will go here to templates. And I'll provide him this one. Say generate one. So it, it, it replace the text provided in text document argument. Use the formal being, uh, business language. Then log the result. Yeah. After um, summarize the text and uh, and with not uh, summarize the text in not more than twenty words and log the uh, outcome. Yeah. So let's see what he's, he's doing here and let's see what I will provide to him. Yeah.
Okay, again, I will create an argument to have something. Uh, so I'll create an in-text argument. Text, okay. Then I will, um, I will uh, put this uh, argument here. So he put, uh, okay, the tag language. Uh, here he will display the uh, the the text the summary of the text and then uh, rephrase this one in uh, using the chat gpt model yeah so he will rephrase the this one in chat gpt model and to display let me build the text yeah so i will put a pause until we'll build the text and we'll come back okay back so uh, the idea was like this uh, chat gpt put a summary here but then i, I remove this with rewrite so the idea is to rewrite a phrase, yeah? So I provide him an in phrase. The in phrase will be the good sir, my wagon broke down. Could you lend a hand fixing it? So it will be very uh, poor written and we want to written as a business. So the idea is like this. I put him to rewrite, I provide him the text and say rephrase to a formal business language. Then we'll display the text and then the system will summarize the formal business language in, uh, in uh, 20 words, yeah? Okay, and then we'll log again this one. So let's see how uh, this is working. So this is the, like I said, I put that argument. This one, so this is the uh, not nice formulation of the data. Let's see how uh, how the system will be able to interpret the text to uh, reformulate as a business language and uh, what will be the summarize of the, of the business language, yeah? So uh, the summary, as you see it here, it's a request assistant to repair the broke down vehicle. Very, very nice, the summary. And uh, let's see the uh, um, uh, the way how he written in a business way. I will display it here. I will display it here. Um, okay, let's see the business uh, way. Dear sir, my bro my uh, vehicle has broke down. Could you kindly assist me to repair it? Yeah. So totally different from my <laughs> other uh, expectation with <laughs> broken. Could you let me a hand to fix it? Okay. Good. So in this way, I showed you how to use the rewrite and summarize. Let's go to the next one and let's see what else we can generate with the autopilot when we generate activities. So the next uh, prompt that I provide today will be this one. Control V. So the idea is like this, generate a contact with maximum 100 that include a phone number and an email address and log this on the text. Next, filtering the generated co uh, context and put a mask on the phone number and email because um, uh, remember that it was that um, uh, PA, uh, so, to uh, to cover personal uh, personal data yeah so in my case i want to cover my email and uh, my personal data so let's see what um, uh, autopilot generate and let's see what uh, we need to add to for this workflow to work yeah so uh, um, let's see the result summary text you have also generate context and here you have pa filtering yeah let me uh, Co uh, convert this to generate context, to use generate context, and uh, I will uh, go further with the presentation, yeah? And I will prepare also the text to be able to, uh, I will prepare it to be sure that we run. Okay, back. So we have content generation. So I put the content generation stuff. Here on the model, you are able to, to select multiple models. So you have GTP 4.0, 3.5, Gemini, and so on will be other models. So that's the advantage with, with the activities, yeah? I put here the prompt that I want to generate a text um, that include a phone number and email from uh, a content. Yeah, then we'll log the content and then we'll put the mask on the uh, uh, on the email. So you see, he will recognize the phone number and the email. Yeah, and he will put a mask on this. I already run it. So if I already run it, I can show you the, the result here. Um, uh, uh, let's see the, the result that he generated and let's see what he put the mask on. So he put the mask on um, uh, on this stuff. Copy. Let's go here on uh, on this one and let's see on what he put a mask. So basically, uh, we have uh, home from here. 
let's delete and see the what uh, what was the initial generator uh, so um it was uh, for more information about uh, ah, please contact us on uh, um, on on your email our team will be available blah blah support inquiry and so on uh, this is the text that generated and let's see how he put a mask you see that uh, he put the phone number and the email yeah so you see you have he put a, a, a phone number mask and uh, a email mask uh, based on on your email that the, the rest of the text remain the same yeah the rest uh, of the text uh, uh, remain the same so that was the idea with uh, generate content and um, uh, gen generate content and uh, text um, and generate content and put mask on the text yeah good uh, so let's go to the next example so here we talk about mask p filtering and um, uh, content generation yeah let's go to the next example and see what we go on the next example and uh, then uh, so on the next example, we'll do this stuff. Generate an AI power, uh, let me put it here. Um, it's about responding to an email, yeah? So I will say this one. So generate an AI power response based on my most um, uh, recent email, yeah? So basically he will go to, he will create a workflow for me that will read the last, um, uh, last email that I have on Gmail and he will generate a response for me, yeah? generate the response uh, and then reply to this email yeah let's see um what i'm building this one i will pro prepare my email and uh, so you see the structure let me let me prepare prepare my email and then uh, we'll run it yeah let's see how to prepare the email so let's see what we have here. We have um, get a new email from Gmail and you'll see that we'll have a uh, car request, uh, test um, car request. Then we'll have generate email. So AI um, uh, with Gen AI, it's a generate email. And on this generate email, I will use uh, GPT-4. I will provide him the body of the, the email. Um, I provide him the style of um, the respond. I provide him an example, craft me a professional response and all in just swimming the blah, blah. I guide him how to respond. Yeah, and then I will I will reply to my email. Yeah, so I will do a reply to my email. I I will say that uh, I will reply to that email, and this will be the body. Yeah, the body that is generated with AI. And let's run this one and let's see what uh, will have as a reply. So in this way, he will uh, make a business uh, reply to to my email um, uh, to, to to email that I receive on Gmail. Yeah, let's see. Okay, done. Uh, this was my email. And I have to go to my uh, UiPath account. And let's see when we will receive it. Uh, we have to wait. Ah, no, uh, we have to wait a little until we receive it. Let's wait. I will show you the email in send. Yeah, so you see that uh, he built um, uh, a reply on the um, that is sent, but is not uh, receiving yet on the uh, on the from Google to UiPath. It will take more than one minute and so on. So, but you see that he built a reply with this one. So the idea it's uh, it was um, uh, with this one to be able to create uh, um, using. Um, Generate activity to generate response to the email. Yeah, so you get the email, you generate the response, and then you reply back to this email. And let's go to the last one, the last stuff that I want to present. This is a workflow that we already built, so we'll not uh, will not create it with autopilot. So you have another two functions that are called name entity recognition and uh, categorize. So you provide him a context. And then you provide him the um, um, uh, you provide him the um, different categories. Yeah. So here uh, on the dictionary builder, uh, we have here category business, story, car, and hotel. And I explain on each category what means on the description. Yeah. 
Uh, and uh, here, so basically he's able to categorize a text based on uh, what I provide him. And here uh, on the entity recognition, so he's able to identify um, uh, different entities. So here again on the entities, I provide him business story car hotel and with uh, with all the description for this. And the text basically it's something like this with um, with a request for rental car company to be able to uh, a request for a rental comp company to, to be able to rent a car. So let's run it and let's understand um, uh, what this will bring. So name, entity, and recognition, and uh, categorize. So basically, the first one will identify multiple parts of the text, and he will tell what its business, what it's about cars, and so on. And the second one will categorize the text. And categorizing the text, it's clearly that it's about a car request. So he will focus as a recognition as a car, yeah. So from 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 the list of the categorization, he was a business story, car, and the hotel. He recognized that this is a car. And here I have the result here already. Uh, basically, you have an. Um, um, you have exactly the elements that he identify, yeah? So rental car, it's about business. New York, business, business, business. Then you have a luxury sedan, it's about car. Mercedes-Benz, a class, it's about car. So you have each section that it's um, identified based on uh, what you provide him there as an um, as, as a name entity recognition, okay? So these are the last things that um, I showed you on the gain, uh, Gen AI, yeah? So... Also watch GP and see when he will come the, the third part of this one. And uh, as usual, ask me what else you want to see on my channel. Subscribe to my channel and comment to my movies. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe. Have a good one. Bye-bye.